Hello, Nick and Amy from South Carolina call it quits. Uh, and they go away with £16,000. Now we have eight sets of newlyweds left to play fastest finger first. Here comes the next question tonight. Put these blood groups in order from the most common to the rarest. A, A, B, B, O. We're looking very worried now. Eight left. Let's have a look. Uh, this is the right order. Uh, the most common to the rarest. O is the most common. Uh, then A. Then B, then it's A, B. So that's the right order. Now, eight left. How many got it right? Let's have a look. One, two, three. Who are fastest? Steve and Teresa. 5.73. We'll play Steve. Well done. He's a great screen there for one. Someone I assume yeah. can only be Teresa in the audience. Is that her? Oh, she looks very excitable yeah. woman. The man who a million pounds. Of course you do. Uh, here we go. We have to be terribly careful. We have Steve Taylor, an electrician from Huntingdon in Cambridgeshire, and his wife, Theresa, who's originally from South Africa and just a matter of weeks away from giving birth to their first child. Fifteen questions, three brand-new lifelines, one million pounds. That's the formula. Theresa and Steve, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, question number one... I'm talking quietly, because, you know, no excitement. Question number... <laughs> <laughs> Question number one is for £100. What name is given to someone who is said to be in charge but actually has little real power? Husband. Uh, figure tooth. Figure leg. Figure head. Figure foot. Figure head. Figure head. Figure head. Figure head. Figure head. That's right, answer. you've got £100. <laughs> Baby's asleep. <laughs> OK, question number two for £200. Have a look. Here it comes. Who was the regular female host of the TV series Surprise, Surprise? Judy Finnegan, Esther Ransom, Scylla Black, Valerie Singleton. Scylla Black. Black. That's the right answer. £200. <laughs> Wonderful song at the end. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> Question number three is for £300. Here it comes. Which of these is the name for species of large frogs with booming croaks? Cow frog, pig frog, bull frog, dog frog. Bull frog. So right answer, you've got £300. <laughs> Question number four is for 500 quid. Here it comes. In which of these London establishments would you be most likely to buy a painting at auction? Hamleys, The Globe, Sotheby's, Madame Tussauds. Sotheby's. Yeah. 100%? Trust him? Yep. Trust him. Sotheby's. Right answer, you've got £500. <laughs> working as an electrician, you've got a baby coming, what yep. um, would be a really handy amount of money to you two? Uh, about 8,000. <laughs> 32. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <That was more. laughs> OK. <laughs> question number five, so you make the decisions. Question number five <laughs> is for £1,000. What name is given to a person holding religious beliefs other than those of the main world religions? Pagan. Zealot. Pharisee. Samaritan. It's worth a thousand pounds. A person holding religious beliefs other than those of the main world religions. Pagan, yeah. zealot, yeah. Pharisee, Samaritan. Um, we'd like to find a friend, please. OK, who are you going to find? Uh, Steve Pitt. He's a, Steve. Colleague, a colleague from work. OK, we'll phone him, tell him the question, four possible answers. One of them will guarantee you a thousand pounds. Steve? Yes? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Sorry? Hello? It's Chris Tarrant here. Hello, okay. Steve. We're on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah. 
good phone line. Um, I've got Steve and Theresa here, the tailors. You lovely. They're doing OK, but they're stuck. Um, OK, sure With your help, Steve, we can get it up to £1,000. Next right. voice here will be Steve's. He'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. All right, mate. OK. OK, all oh, bad old line. Steve, speak nice and loud. 30 seconds of your time starts now. Hi, Steve. Hello, Steve. What name is given to a person holding religious beliefs other than those of the main world religions? Is it pagan, zealot, Pharisee or Samaritan? Hey, pagan. Definitely? Definitely, mate. Pagan. OK, thanks, mate. Bye. Thanks, bye. <laughs> We'll Final go. answer, you know, you go home with nothing if he's uh, wrong. No, we'll definitely go with Pagan. We'll go with that. Final yeah. answer? Yes. Yeah. It's the right answer, you got £1,000 guaranteed. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> feel OK? Feel better? I'm worried about you. <laughs> I'm worried. Right. <laughs> You're worried about you. OK, you got £1,000. Let's try and get you some money. Get you out of here as fast as we can. <laughs> Question number six is for £2,000. Will Young's hit single, Evergreen, is a cover version of a song by which band? Boyzone, A1, Westlife, take that. That's worth £2,000. Uh, I have an idea. I'm not sure will you be. What do you think it is? You've got a thousand, Steve. It's very sure. How sure are you? I like 50-50. <laughs> no, I feel 50-50, yeah. What, um... Ask the audience. What are your instincts? Um... Uh, ask the audience. Yeah. Ask OK. The audience, audience, let's get Theresa and Steve up to £2,000, please. Here comes the question. Will Young's hit single Evergreen is a cover version of a song by which band? A, B, C or D. All vote now. Um, yeah. Big percentage, seventy percent are saying Westlife. Uh, Seventeen boy zones, six percent A one, um, seven percent take that. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah, that's very high. My feeling was Westlife. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Sure. Yeah. Totally confident, trees. Yes. Are you? Yes. <laughs> Final oh, answer. I had an inkling. It was that one. You little liar, trees. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Final answer. Yeah. Yes. The right answer, you've got £2,000. <laughs> Good audience, well played. You've still got a 50 50. <laughs> Question number seven is for £4,000. CNN is an abbreviation for which American media company? Country's National News. Channel News Now, Corporate News North, Cable News Network. D. D. Yeah. Cable News Network. Sure? Yes. yes. Final answer? Yes. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> Shush, be careful. <laughs> that loud music's not helping either. I think we'll start with that. Let's just take it gently, audience. Let's just get Theresa and Steve gently <laughs> out of here. Right, you got uh, four thousand pounds. Question number seven is for eight thousand. Durum is a variety of which grain? Maize, rice, rye, wheat. Now, Steve, what are you thinking? I'm not. <laughs> ah. Theresa, what do you think? I have no idea. Let's <laughs> the 50-50. Yes. Want to use it? 50 yeah, 50-50, please. OK. Uh, computer take away two wrong answers. Leaves Theresa and Steve the right answer and one remaining wrong answer. I think I've heard of a Durham wheat. You've got four thousand no. pounds. You can walk away. Yeah, I'll go for it. Yeah. Okay. You have to agree. It's up to you. I agree. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Get four thousand pounds. 
Teresa. Hmm? <laughs> You've just won £8,000. <laughs> That's your last uh, lifeline. Uh, it's used to make pasta. You've got £8,000. Question number nine is for 16000 Here it comes. You do not have to play this question. In which part of the world was the Mayan civilization situated? Southern Africa, Eastern Asia, Central America, Northern Europe. It's for £16,000. You lose seven if you give me a wrong answer. Give them a very gentle, big hand. They go away. £8,000 better off. <laughs> Teresa, why did you think it was Central America? I don't, I don't know, really. You go away with £8,000. I can tell you that Central America was the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give, it a, give them a big hand. £8,000. Well played. Well done. Good luck. Take care. God bless you. Well played. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank